Hey guys, welcome to Farmer Simulator Mod Review. So let's get the HUD back up. So this is a tractor Biego modding. It is a Fent 933. See there his copyrights. So this is an older one where he updates and does a few changes to. As you can tell it's the texture quality isn't sort of the greatest but the features in it is amazing you can see there they can't really see splines on the PTO shaft but it's just a nice running tractor and if you've got a computer where it can't handle great mods this probably would be perfect this is what it comes with. Um, unfortunately, there's no front weights that comes with it. I don't know if it's supposed to, or it will in another version. I don't know, with Farming Simulator 2015 around the corner, I imagine there probably won't be too many mods being released right now. License plate up there. Same as on the back. So, uh, first off with this tractor is, if I hit, B on the keyboard, hood and this side panel will pop, there we go. And if it wasn't for me having the tyres turned it would be straight up against the tyre. So let me just... There we go. So you can see the engine's not greatest detailed especially compared to his John Deere's series he did. And this pineal doesn't come off. I'm surprised at that. I thought both would come off. So hit B to close it back up. And N raises the front hitch and takes off that three point link. Now it kind of vanishes. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be clipped in somewhere. So it's not around here that I can tell. And the clip in, kind of clip in the front end a little. But the three point link will probably when that's down stop. Um, jump in. There is no IC control from the outside or opening up of the door, as you can see. So here's the interior. Fairly basic, like I was saying. Full tool. I see controls though, there is plenty. So here we have steering wheel up and down, indicator left, and indicator right. I know I probably got it the wrong way around there, but it doesn't matter. Opening door there. We have top up here opens and closes. Uh, looks like the gla gas struts are broken. They should be going up too, by the looks of it. I'll shut up the door here. Uh, we do have the on off, but I want to get to that in a minute. Here we have sort of the wide wheel signs, but there's no dual wheels. PTO on and off, four wheel drive on and off. Raises and lowers, I believe this is front hitch, maybe. The three point hitch. And here. What's this, you may wonder? Well, we've got different cameras, and this is another feature I think is great. So, backing up onto stuff. Uh, this is up the front, I believe. And this is just up at the top where the license plate would be. This is kind of off to an angle, like on the right side. Don't really see the. Need for this one, but you never know. So that's the cameras. Now, the sound of this tractor is probably one of the best I've ever heard. It is loud, <laughs> though. I've got my game volume up to probably where I left it before I flew out to Canada. So it's at 10, and it seemed quite loud to me. So I'll just start it up for you.
So that's what it sounds like starting up, shutting down. And through the side vent there, you can see the fans spinning. So IC controls you can access from the outside too. Oh, must have caught that one. But that's the beacon. Shut the vent again. And uh, the beacons are really good. They're like the ones off of his John Deere. These can hurt frame rate though. <laughs> that's the downside. The back window can only be opened from the outside for some reason. I couldn't see the mark because it's behind the seat. Here we have three point linkage up and down on one side. What well, that side is, I'm not sure. So that raises it, and this should lower it. Again, looks like something's broken down there. And that button doesn't work, just take a look course play. So that button doesn't work neither. Again, it could be because it is off. So, let's uh, start it back up. We'll try that once more. There we go, that's working. That's just a little bug. Oh, and it does have different camera views, so you typical for a person. Don't really see the need or point of this one again. But you have this one. And reverse a camp that. It's probably kinda nice, I like that. Functioning parking brake, like Miss Vegas, you hit Y on the keyboard and that switch that off. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, we have another menu. We hit F2. Now this is going to bring up my FPS because of what the console enabled too. So it is in, I believe this is German as well. Shame it's not 100% translated to English too. So left shift and N and M do the front suspension. Now some of you guys that are fans may be able to tell me why is this on the tractor because I don't know why it is. No doubt it serves a good purpose. But, uh, so hold and left shift, M. We'll raise and lower the front suspension. Now it is awfully quick. I would have thought it'd be slower, like real hydraulics, because I'm guessing it's hydraulic. So, kind of put it roughly back to where it was. And then we see a very interesting one called mirrors. So you hit left shift again, and mirrors. And you can adjust them. So I'm holding left shift, and thus we'll do the left one as you can see. Up, down. Even changes the shadow you can see on the mudguard, fender, whatever you want to call it. Hear me hitting the keyboard just to try and get it right for myself. Anyway, you get the gist. Um, and the right shifts are going to have to the other side of the keyboard. You will see it through. Let me turn off, actually. We'll do this one. See that? So we've got a rough one again, up, down. Exactly the same. Great feature. You'll probably notice a little bit of frame rate drop on that also. Um, what else do we have? So we have going down to our numeric keypad, like most mods nowadays. Left indicator, hazards, red indicators, so one, two, and three. Four and five. Oh, four does nothing. Five is your front working lights, that work really well actually. They are good lights. And six is your rear. Now up in here, uh, it's also seven. seven and eight. I'm not sure what that translates to. Um, it does nothing, so again, not really sure. Right control, or rad, or wheel drive. Uh, what else do we have? Number nine, indoor work, indoor light. It doesn't work from what I've seen. So, just above the stereo here, or below the stereo, should be your light. 
doesn't seem to be working. You hear a clicking, but even at night it doesn't do anything. Um, here we have the different tyres that come with it. Okay, is it hurt them? Probably not on the right side of it. So we'll go for a drive so you can hear what it sounds like. I'll shut up when I do this, but uh, I'm really impressed with the quality of the audio on this. So you can hear there, it muffles it down. If I open up, say, top of the interview, you'll hear the sound. Like he's outside. Now I'm really impressed with the audio quality of this one, that's for sure. Oh, and it looks like the stress is now working because of all the tractor on. Interesting. Uh, okay. There we go. It says care wheel, uh, assemble care wheels, but it's not really care wheels to be honest. It's more flotations. So, what is that? Lift it. So, this is more slightly less wider, but more of a fence I know is with the wide ass wheels on. So it's pretty much the, just the difference is the wider, wider stance. Do they have any real effect in game? I don't honestly know. It's just what do you like? That's oh, the, oh, the fan. It is a washable tractor on the place where you can get it. That is mod hosted. You can download the extra um, dirty files. I'm yet to get this thing fully dirty, but if any of you are watching and your subscribers stick around because you'll probably see this appearing in my Two Rivers farm series I'm doing as one of the main tractors because I am quite impressed with it. Um, so it's got good and bad points. Massive point is it'll probably work on lesser spec computers because it is kind of low res on a lot of it. Lots of features in this little guy. It's a powerful tractor. Uh, bad points. For me, I like the higher detail tractors. Um, and it really doesn't come with a front weight, that's kind of disappointing. Another good feature to add is it's got working mirrors. Um, something farming simulator should have put in from the get go. But it's coming with the new one, so hey. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the mod review of the Fent 933 by Ego Modern. Kind of a redo of a tractor that he's had around for quite some time now. And this will probably be one of the last mod reviews I do on this channel before 2015 comes up. And of course, we'll be carrying on where we left off with 2013. Catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.